We're drift stitching the hood. On Project Jack Lantern. Project Jack Lantern, because because our shitty welds on it um, are coming apart, and uh, there was a diesel with a stack. It was just rolling coal all over everywhere, and um, they were stopped at a light. I was rolling up to the light. I, I downshifted a couple gears. I was gonna go hard. And they just, like, the light turned before I went there, and they were just balling hard, rolling coal everywhere, and but the wind was blowing. And my hood scoop damn near flew off into my windshield, and the windshield's new, so I didn't want the scoop to come off. So we're going to drift stitch it on, because that seems like the best way <laughs> of reattaching a hood scoop. Uh, yeah. So then I can whip it on asshole people with diesels, because... There's a lot of them around here, and that's what we like to do. I have to live in Montana. All oh, fucking rednecks. There it is, boys and girls. There's no girls that watch. Yeah, there's this. no girls that watch this. Don't what are we talking yourself. about? See? Yeah, and it, it flops up because the top doesn't really hold on anymore. So we're gonna fix it. Yep. I'm a professional. I've done this once before, so I'm a professional, guys. Once? Have I? Yeah, I guess I have. The only the only real one I've done though is Lucas's Arx8. I guess you, you kind of you've kind of various points zip tied your Subaru back together. Well, it needs to be at yeah. all points. So, the basic premise of drift stitching for those of you that don't know drilling holes on either side and then zip tying it together and there's a couple different patterns I like the the cross pattern and that's probably what I'm gonna do You're gonna have to hold it and not hit your finger. Well, it's gonna wander. I'm gonna go get a little thing. little punch. We'll Lots of fox bodies. So many fox bodies. And a forerunner that doesn't run. Bit of a disaster. Actually, quite a disaster. 302, uh, that was a 351, there's a big block. There's a 429 there. the big block down there, and, about and another three, three, three 302s. Various places. This garage is basically just a shed, but it's tiny. It's, it's tiny. This, this is the garage. That's it. Yeah. This. That's it. But it has about eight engines in it. I can't do the math there on what a 20 by 12 is for square footage. But Not great. 240? 240 square feet. I don't know. That is something. Horrendous. At least small. Is it gonna focus now? Oh shit, it is. There we go. I switched it to aperture mode instead of auto because I'm gonna quit being a scrub. Alright, so we're gonna get all these done and quit filming because this is gonna be really boring. Okay. So, got some holes. Oh, 
he did it backwards. That's gonna look shitty. Why do you think it's gonna look shitty? Because now the little I kind of like the little things pieces on, on the outside. outside. Ah, that's up to you. I like them on the inside. It looks cleaner. Well, fuck it. We got a hundred zip ties. It doesn't look good. I'll cut it off. Of course, this thing isn't very clean, so it really doesn't matter. No. It's that little bit extra. Not only is it beat to hell and floppy, but even the stitching looks bad. Cutters and I'll cut the tails off. Two down. A couple more to go. Uh, a thought. Uh, since this was rolled into a canal by my sister, the zip tie that was holding on to the bottom of this of this fender has since come undone. So we're gonna reattach the fender. Try and sort of fish it around the fuel lines that are along my pinch weld. This car is now almost entirely held together by zip ties. Because it was prior to entering a canal, now it really is. There's also a lot of ultra black RTD involved. This one doesn't look so bad. The other one, well, I guess the other two that were on the rear. Got pretty, pretty effed up. The one is missing a huge chunk, and that's annoying. This is a nice, nice pull smack right there. Mm hmm. The roof looks terrible. Just got a brand new windshield. This is cracked as. All cracked up. Windshield wipers don't work. There's no trim here now either. Absolutely none on the windshield. Uh, let's see what else. This all kind of stayed fine, except the bumper got really ripped up. From the tow, the tow hook, when the tow truck was pulling it out, just kind of the chain went rip, pulled, ripped that to all to hell. I found a more appropriate zip tie. Oh, for yes. The fender on. This door got another dent, which is great. Maybe. Good enough. Works for me. Oh. The fender won't flop now. More importantly than anything though is... Yeah. No interior. And red seats. Red track vinyl seats. There we go. No carpet. No rear seats. Oh, and this. This is great. Freaking echoes. Sounds so hollow now. So a, so a Viper just drove by and it sounded cammed. And that was pretty cool. And I'm terrible. And, yeah, and you missed it. I missed it on camera. I'm sorry guys. But cam V10. It sounded amazing. It was great. And he was just, he, he wasn't even revving or nothing. He was just rolling by. It sounded great. That was amazing. 
All right. Uh, also, we're just stitching this side of the hood too. Because it's Cause also broken. It also flops. So. Then it should be good to go. We can race people in diesel. It'll be great. Yep. All right. So this side gets one. Yeah, because it's really fucked up, and I don't want to have to mess with it. Try to continue to. But this this is all the wobble that we got. Yeah. So that works. So now the hood won't sort of threaten to come up, come off, and kill my new windshield. Because that's the only nice thing about this car life. Okay, did it. One was in your valve cover, and I couldn't get it with the camera on. Here, have some things. As long as there aren't any on the headers. I don't think so. These rusty, rusty headers. There's oil in it. There's oil. Alright, we're good. Alright. Let's go great. for a ride. Everything's fine. Perfect. Not perfect. That no choke life. Yeah. It's not terribly warm out right now. It doesn't like to idle or stay running or, you know. Montana. Yeah. Weather. Almost winter. Goodbye, Subaru. Windshield's kind of dirty. It is. Also, it's like a shit. Yeah. I think that has to do with the vacuum being way whack whenever it's cold. Vacuum whack and the, the huge amount of water that went through it. It's a ratchet shifter. It's pretty sweet for being an automatic. He works good though. Replace the heater core. Yeah. First winter. Thanksgiving weekend. Thanksgiving it was Thanksgiving break. I was recording, I was replacing the heater core in my driveway. How many people give you, give you looks in this car? All of them. Every single person. It's a bright orange car and it's loud. So. And the giant hood scoop. And the giant hood scoop. It's now really bulgy and yeah. terrible. It's zip tied together now. Yeah. I'm sure that makes it even better. It's a bright car. It's a loud colored car that's really loud. It's great.
there's quite a bit of lights, but sometimes there's traffic. Uh, so stop and go, really. You gotta keep the heater on so that it doesn't get hot. Yep, so. That's fun. Heater on, yeah. windows down. Windows, heater on full, windows rolled down. It might right. close at five, but fuck it. Yeah, we're here before five. Yeah. Right? Okay. All right? All right, getting gas at Costco. Because it's cheap as shit. <laughs> Focus? Yeah. As my father said once, of Costco, we've reached the, the holy land. Now we've got to sit here and idle with no fan. That's awesome. No, we don't. But I was really hoping one of these people would leave. But, uh, Doesn't look like it. Maybe. 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 We'll find out. He forgot his pin and had to sit in the car and, and figure it out. And now he can finally get gas. What a scrub. Alright, back at it, yet again. I have to get, go do some hood shit. Just kidding. He's running in shit with my friends. Yeah. This is another one of those really nice roads here in Billings. Speed limit's 45. Speed limit's 45. It's really flat, and you never hit a light because there are no lights. It's just roundabouts. Damn. So, this is the spot where Austin's car went into a canal. Right there. I took out that speed sign. That sign back there is the one that put a huge ass dent in his car. What, what would you like to say to the viewers, Austin? Some, don't let a woman borrow your car. Oh, don't let anybody borrow your car. Nobody, don't let anybody drive your car ever. Also, don't give your parents keys to your car so they can move it. Don't do that either. Don't give anybody keys to your car. Keep all the keys to the car. Never let anybody drive it, ever. Does. His, his car is ruined, it wasn't his fault, and he's never been in an accident, ever. Or... I've never even been pulled over, despite owning a bright orange car. <laughs> a bright orange, very loud muscle car. So we just showed up. And parked in someone's parking spot, and he was staring hardcore at us out of his window. It was super awkward. We're just gonna walk away. <laughs> walk away. Totally didn't take his spot. Staring hardcore. <laughs>